Well, welcome to uh, week two of my video blog. Things have been uh, kind of it's been kind of a busy week. Uh, if any of you follow my Facebook status, um, I had a presentation on Wednesday to do so. Uh, unfortunately, I'm relying on Sunday again for getting my second uh, my second episode out. Uh, what I want to focus on today is another way to use Wikispaces creatively in the classroom. Um, to you know, use a wiki just you know as a as a website is one thing, and, it, and it's a great resource for it. However, there's lots of other things you can do with Wikispaces and and having students as editors, students as editors um, of your site. Uh, and so what I'm going to show today is a classroom calendar, uh, like a classroom homework calendar, a great place to organize material, uh, not just for students that have been absent, but also students who have a tough time with organization. Uh, that's one great uh, benefit to this. Um, uh, at the end of the school day, as students are preparing to, to leave, uh, they can quickly access the classroom homework calendar, and as long as it's been edited correctly, uh, they can see what they've done for not just your class, but perhaps for uh, the other subject that you teach. For instance, I teach U.S. History, and so um, that's, that's one of the, you know, the staples uh, in my classroom. However, for math, language arts, science, or your algebra class, or any, anything else that the students are, are um, doing during the course of the day, they can actually put those uh, the, you know, documentation, um, upload notes or upload any websites, uh, as well as provide a description of what went on that day in class. So I'm going to show you um, kind of how I do it and how I, you know, briefly, um, what it looks like and how it functions. Um, and as you're watching, make sure you kind of keep track of uh, any questions you might have uh, at the end of it. Um, when I'm all done, it's, it's, it'd be important to see or to re re recall what questions you have so you can maybe comment or email me uh, about any additional topics you may want to see. So with that said, um, I'll get you to take a look. We're here looking at my class homework calendar page and if we zoom in to get there you can see the link over on the left under the uh, navigation bar class homework calendar. So if you scroll down and kind of zoom in on, on one of the months, February, uh, I want to show you how this looks uh, on the inside, looking at the, the code of it. So if you were to click out of this page and look at February 2nd, uh, you can see that I use an image tag with just a generic in image titled 02 PNG. I can use that over and over again for each month, that same image. And if you zoom in a little bit closer, you can see that I've got that, that image linked to February 2nd, a new page. Uh, blank page titled February 2nd. Having all these images uh, linked within a table make, gives it this look. Uh, if you were to click on and view one of, the, um, one of the pages behind the image links, you can see that this is actually for February 9th because this is a, a blank one. Um, up on the top of the screen it says to create this page using a template, click on it from the list. Um, templates can be created uh, looking at the manage wiki um, menu here. Um, and selected is, is the templates link. If you were to click on and follow that, you can create your own blank template by filling in the you know your title of the, whatever template you wanted. Uh, in that box, it says template name and click create template. I have a few here, and the one that we're using is the one called uh, calendar. And once the template is applied to any blank page, the user, creator, member can replace the text that they see on the screen with uh, you know, a description of that day's activities. That template just provides the structure. Okay, so at the end of that, I want to point out a few uh, principles, uh, wiki principles that I used in this. Uh, the first one is images. Um, I used images within the tables uh, to display you know, days of the week or days of the month. Uh, those images were created in, in pages, actually, which is Apple's uh, word processing application. Uh, but Microsoft Word can do the same thing, and I'm sure that, um, um, oh, what's the other one? Uh, I can't think of the open source uh, version of, of Word yet uh, off the top of my head. But in any case, uh, creating those is like a, uh, it's, it's a shape, a square um, with the digit inside of it. You can copy that uh, and create an image out of that, uh, either, either using a screenshot or some other uh, method um, based on your, your operating system and your the machine that you're running. Uh, I can provide more details on that later. Uh, those images then were uploaded uh, 1 through 31 uh, to provide you know all the numbers necessary uh, and then I uh, uploaded those all to Wikispaces. Uh, once once there then I can use those uh, as, a, as a link. I can make an image link and the tag you saw when you looked at February 2nd um, that showed how to take that image and actually make a link out of it. There's lots of other things you can do with, with sizing and, and such, but again, that's for another time. 
Um, the other last one is taking those images and putting them in the table. The table provides the structure uh, that you saw, uh, the five day a week, you know, weekly uh, structure to create the month. Um, those would require extra time if we were, if I were to spend some time on the, that with this video, um, it would be considerably longer. However, those or any other items uh, that you saw here uh, that you like a little extra time on, a little extra description on uh, visually, let me know. Email me or put those down in a comment at the bottom of my blog. Um, I can make that a topic for a later video if uh, the interest is out there. So let me know. I hope things went well. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock right now, so I'm looking at cheering on the, the Cardinals, uh, the Super Bowl tonight. Um, good luck, and uh, have a great week. Let me know if you need anything else. I'll see you next time.